stop now. Thank you. <laughs> I went to um, Atlanta earlier, like last week, and did stand up at like a legitimate all comedians comic club. <laughs> no, no, it's not cheating because this isn't a comedy club. It's an open mic night for anyone. So keep that in mind for next week. You know. So I did. I did pretty good there. Chris Tucker was there. He opened for me. He went on eight people before I did, but he technically opened for me. Uh, I usually range from uh, three to five jokes, and I had three jokes this week, and I forgot the second one, so now I'm talking to fill that time. Uh, just, you know, just a, some little conversation for you. Uh, Hampton did a really good job on the lights. I'm under this really bright spot light, and uh, the picture's going to look horrible. Um, so I just, hey, man. My name's Chris. Jesse. This is Jesse, everyone. This is Elijah. Elijah. Okay, now I'm gonna tell jokes. No, I'm gonna tell. I got. I got some stuff. Um. So. You know, I saw The Dark Knight Rises the day it came out in theaters, and I wasn't going to that. If you haven't seen it, you really should. If you're not seeing it out of fear of a copycat, you're ridiculous. Uh, I was talking to this girl, and I was like, you haven't seen it? You know, let's go. I'll, I'll take you, you know, blah, blah, I can, I can, I can pay for it. Let's just go. I want everyone in the world to see that movie. I wish that I could make the clouds into miles and miles wide, you know, all together in one big square and project that movie onto the clouds. <laughs> That's how much I love that movie. And she said, uh, I said, what's your next day off? She said, I don't, I don't know. Uh, like a date? Dot, 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 ish? Dot, dot, dot is never a good anything. So, yeah, an ellipsis, that's what it's called. But I didn't want to, you know, that might have been over some of you guys' heads. I'm not a nice guy, Jim. Uh, so she was like, what, like a date? Dot, 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 ish? And I was like... Yeah, dot, 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 ish. <laughs> and she was like, she's like, thank you, Kyle, for the boisterous laughter. Uh, she was like, I, I hope I wasn't leading you on, but we're, we're just friends. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I still want to see Batman. <laughs> well, we still haven't gone to see Batman. <laughs> But I've seen it twice already. So you guys should go, really go, tomorrow. Um, I live with my brothers. We have a place together, and uh, we're very respectful of each other's, you know, space. There's a back door and there's a front door to our house, and more like two side doors. More like two. We don't have it. We actually don't have a front door or a back door. It's two side doors about 15 feet apart. So when one of us has a girl over, sometimes we'll like. I, I like to hang out with my friends in the living room. So my younger brother will come out of his room and see that I'm in there, and he'll go through my older brother's room, and then go out the back side door, and then bring his friend in that way, to, and, or just leave that way, just to not interrupt us. Jim said not to fall, right? Um, so he'll bring his date in that way, or you know, just his friends, so he doesn't disturb us. And he'll bring his dates in that way if we're out there having a good time so we don't see them because there are so many dates he has. <laughs> My brother is, he's really good with the ladies. Um, so he brings a girl in one day, he like, he's sneaking around, you know, being all quiet, and he brings her in, and she's on crutches. <laughs> and I started thinking, because I'm a jokester, I started thinking, people on crutches look a lot like foosball players that got pulled off the table. <laughs> so, so, you know, he sneaks her in, we don't see her for the rest of the night because he's the only one that's got his own bathroom. So what does she need? She's got that dick and she's got a bathroom. <laughs> so we're chilling out. We hang out all night. We go to sleep. I wake up and I'm in the living room again. And he's trying to go through my brother's room again. And my friend Travis is like, hey, don't go in there. He's sleeping. Shh. So he has to bring his date through the front. A walk of shame for her, really. But not really because my brother's charming as shit. Um, <laughs> So he brings her through, but he brings her through a way that we can't see her until right before she comes out. And she's holding her crutches in her hand. My brother has a magical healing dick. <laughs> he lays the dick.
kick down right and they leave walking. 